Hello, my name is Ian Gordon. I'm the president of Longwave Analytics, which is a company uh, within the Longwave group. Today I'd like to show you uh, the Longwave chart and explain to you how an understanding of this chart can make you uh, pretty positive about the future direction both of the economy and of the financial markets. So this uh, long wave is based on Nikolai Kondratiev, the Russian economist's uh, long wave cycle, which he formulated in the mid-1920s. And so, in, in effect, uh, Kondratiev only uh, saw two and a half cycles uh, when he wrote his thesis. Uh, he go, went back to 1789, which was the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, and uh, his uh, cycle that he, that he uh, proposed was based on uh, things like trade, interest rates, um, the production of things like pig iron and so on, so that uh, he could see that within this cycle there were uh, really uh, two periods when the, uh, the cycle expanded, and, and we've broken those periods into the spring and summer, so those two periods were an expansionary phase in the cycle, and then uh, there was a, a time when the uh, cycle contracted, and we've broken those down into the autumn and winter. So the cycle itself is, uh, we call it a lifetime cycle. Uh, it's about 60 years uh, long, and, and that's what we live in a meaningful way. We don't make uh, uh, decisions for ourselves until, at until we're at least 20 years old. Normally we're relying on our parents to make those kind of decisions for us, our financial decisions and so on. And then once we reach the age of 80, uh, we don't make decisions, we hope our children, or we expect maybe our children will be making those decisions for us. Uh, however, a good understanding of the cycle will enable you to make, continue to make financial decisions because you will have made the right financial decisions during the period where you are responsible for making them. So we see here in this 60 year cycle, we break it into the four seasons of the year and we think they're appropriate. Spring is the birth or the rebirth of the economy. Summer, it's still during the expansionary phase of the cycle is the time when this, the economy reaches its fruition. Uh, autumn is, we call it the feel-good period. It's often referred to as the plateau period. That's the time when the cycle is plateauing and beginning its downward phase. And then winter, is a time when the economy, we say, dies or sleeps because debt is being wrung out of the, out of the system. And you can go back through these four uh, long wave cycles and see that they have repeated themselves almost exactly. The, the time that they've taken to repeat, make these repetitions is different, but they are repeating themselves, as I say, almost exactly. Spring, the rebirth of the economy, the birth of the economy here in 1789. Some of the time when the economy really reaches its fruition. Autumn, the plateau or feel-good period. And we call it the feel-good period because it's a time, every time in this cycle, when you have the biggest speculation in stocks, bonds, and real estate. And it's a time when most people are making considerable amount of money uh, investing in those three mediums. And then winter, the time when the economy dies as debt is wrung out of the system.